400. Now let's cut it in half. And we're going to see the deuce on the track. And it's going to be the men. This is the final. Lane assignments. Lane one is empty. And you can see everybody there, Thompson, Knighton, Chibili, and then right there in the middle of the track, Sonia Trayvon Bromel in lane five. Yes, and Trayvon Bromel is actually one of the athletes that I trained with. He trained at Baylor. I was there for many, many years with Coach Clyde Hart. And can I tell you that this is one of the nicest young men you'll yeah. ever meet. A great spirit. Looked to be the next great. Looked like he was right behind Justin Gatlin to fill those, sh those shoes, and he might have but he tore his Achilles and really struggled with injury after injury after injury and thought about quitting the sport, but decided to stick with it. And he has had an incredible comeback season, has the fastest time in the men's 100, and is now doing the 200, wants to double and potentially make the team in the one and the two, and I believe that he can do it. So I'm excited to see where he is. This is his first 200 of the season uh, at this level. He's run 20.62, but that was earlier in the year. Now he wants to see if he can really challenge and go sub-20 and really be competitive. But a great young man to keep an eye on. All right. And just to his outside in lane six is Divine Oduduru of Nigeria. Arguably one of the best sprinters in college history and a fun athlete to watch. And actually, actually, he's uh -oh. not there. He's not there. Oh, no. Okay, not sure what happened there. So Zarnell Hughes is in seven. Another excellent talent out of Great Britain. That's right. He was second on the 4 by one team in Doha, fifth at 200 meters. And he's a European champion. So he's also great competition. And what's also great about this race is when you have someone like a Trayvon Bromel having those talented athletes in front of you, he's going to track them down. It is unfortunate when you, you lose the person right in front of you because you yeah. can't really gauge how fast you're going. And also disappointed because we're looking forward to seeing him right, run. He's right. phenomenal talent. But Trayvon Bromel and Zarnell Hughes, certainly the class of the field. And Adam Jamili, his teammate from Great Britain, is also in the field. He was fourth in Rio in 2016 and fourth in Doha. Fourth is the worst spot to get you just off the podium, so oh. he'll be hungry and hoping to win a medal if he makes it the British team to Tokyo. And Jamili is in lane four, so he'll be behind Trayvon Bromel when the gun starts. Uh, and just so you know, the world and U.S. lead right now is 1981. And that's held by Terrence Laird from the Texas Relay. So let's see what Trayvon Bromel does over 200 meters. The gun is up. All right, fair start. Trayvon Bromel in lane five. Nobody just to his outside, but does he pick off Zarnell Hughes as he turns the corner? Pulling even, Trayvon Bromel with Zarnell Hughes. Hughes with the longer strides, and Bromel is moving past him. On the inside, we've got movement from, was that Thompson? It's hard to tell from up here. Trayvon Bromel may have been picked off right at the very end, and he was. It was, it was Knighton who ran 2011. Bromel finished in a surprising 2020, hmm. and Hughes finishing in third in 2030. And Knighton still just 17 years old. That's why we haven't heard of him. He's right. a youngster, a high schooler from Hillsborough High School in Tampa, Florida. Had a best of 20-30 before this race has now just lowered that to 20-11. Fantastic running. It was set up perfectly for someone to do that because Trayvon Bromel did not execute the first 100 as well as he should have. <laughs> Having that kind of speed, he should have left them and wide open in the first 100. But you see he's kind of tying up there, struggling yeah. a bit. But this doesn't matter. He's working on his strength for the 100 meters. But that youngster, Knighton, just 17 years old, to come to Jacksonville and have a win like this is phenomenal for his confidence. Who's going to beat him in high school now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a big moment. And I met this young man earlier in the season. He showed up somewhere, and he was introduced. Uh, and he is a, just an exciting young man. And, of course, he caught us all by surprise out there over down in, uh, in uh, lane three. And so Arian Knighton of the United States improves his personal best. Zarnell Hughes finishes in third. And so we'll see what happens with Trayvon Bromel, who hopes to do his damage at the trials at the 100. That's right. And we'll see what happens with him. That's right. He hasn't run the 200, especially at this level, in so long.